The Criminal Enterprise DLC just came out in GTA Online, so today in this video, I'm going to be telling you 10 facts about this DLC that you did not know about before watching this video. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Did you know that Rockstar added in new libraries for some of the existing vehicles in the game? Right now, I'm driving my Turismo R to Los Santos Customs. It is one of six vehicles that were currently in the game before this DLC that was given an update so it can get new libraries. So for my Turismo, I can scroll down to libraries and I can I can put on some of these new libraries. Hey, some of these look pretty nice. Honestly, I kind of like this one for the color scheme I have going with this Turismo. The other five vehicles other than the Turismo R that gets new libraries, the Chevel Picardor, the Benefactor Schwarzer, the Ubermark Sentinel XS, the Benefactor Sterling GT, the vehicle that I have right now, the Grotti Turismo R, and the Pegasi Sen Porno. So now you can give some of your old vehicles a fresh new look. And now I have a fresh new look on my Turismo. Did you know that this DLC is so far the first DLC since the Los Santos Summer Special that we did not get a new property to buy in GTA Online? Most of the heists before this heist usually gave out a new property to buy. Like I'm in right now, I'm in my agency, which came out during our last update, the contract DLC. But with this update, we did not get an opportunity to buy a new property. Now, it is rumored that maybe later on they'll drip feed a new property that we can buy but as of when i'm recording this there is no property that we can buy like the contract dlc the tuners dlc the kyle perico dlc all came with new properties that, those were our last three dlcs but this one does not have a property unlike those other dlc did you know that there's a hidden gun that we have to go out and find all the parts for ourselves so with this DLC, there's two different guns. There's this gun that I'm shooting right now, the precision rifle. And there's another weapon called the service carbine. And the service carbine, when it does come out, you have to go across the map and find parts for this one weapon. And once you find all the parts to the weapon, you'll be able to get the new service carbine. But currently, as I'm recording this video, that weapon has not been added into the game. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to find out when that weapon does come out in GTA Online. Did you know that Rockstar secretly added in new upgrades to the Sparrow in GTA Online? The Sparrow is probably the most important vehicle for you to use when you are trying to do the Cayo Perico heist. Because this is the only vehicle that can be flown through the air that can be stored inside of your Kasatka. But now Rockstar added in some countermeasures. You can either buy a chaff or a flare in order to make Make sure that no griefers try to ruin your day while you try to complete the Cayo Perico heist. Did you know that Rockstar made all missiles in GTA Online on aircraft a lot harder to track down opponents? Now everyone's been talking about how they countered the missiles that come from the oppressor, but they didn't do it with just the oppressor. The presser is the big one for how for how crazy the oppressor missiles track down opponents. Even with your normal aircraft that has missiles, they they too got a downgrade. See, like you can see right here, I'm trying to shoot this helicopter right here. I can't even hit this stupid helicopter. So it's now more difficult to hit your target compared to what it was like before this DLC. Did you know that there is a new vehicle that how special works can be put on in G GTA Online. The vehicle so far that's been added to the game that can have how special works that's new is the Sterling GT as I'm driving right here. The Sterling GT has been out in the game for so many years. I honestly don't even know how many years this vehicle has been in the game. But with the Criminal Enterprise DLC, they allow this vehicle to get to get the upgrade to get how special works, which makes this vehicle a lot faster. And one more drip feed car that's going to be added into the game. The Declassy 
Dusty Vigero ZX will also have the opportunity to get how special works added to it when that vehicle is added into the game. Did you know that kills in free mode now are not going to affect your KD? Your KD ratio now can only be affected by kills scored in competitive gameplay. So like any sort of game modes or whatever. Those sweaty griefers that were just sitting in jets or sitting on oppressors or whatnot, they are no more. Those kills in free mode now will not be affecting your KD. So now that basically Rockstar is making sure there is no incentive in free mode in order to kill random people at any sort of time. If you want to raise your KD ratio, then you're going to have to play a game mode and try to just play well in that game mode. Did you know that Rockstar at some point will introduce four vehicles that we can customize at Benny? One of those vehicles that we can bring to Benny to get an extra customization to is the BF Weevil, which I am driving right now. The other three are the Ubermark sentinel classic the grotty brioso 300 in the obey 10f so whenever that drip feed comes about you will be able to bring those four vehicles to benny's and customize it with benny's modifications on it did you know that you can do cell missions now in a private session as you can see right here there's absolutely no one on the map right now in my session and that is because i am currently in a private session to record this video and to prevent griefing against people that are trying to make money you can now sell your products in a private session so right now i'm selling my nightclub goods in this private session but you can also sell any of your cargo from your cargo warehouse you can sell you can sell your product from your mc businesses you can sell your gun running supplies from your bunker you can do all that now in a private session which that is massive in order to make a lot of money you do not have the threat of anyone griefing you now since this update has released did you know that the operation paper trail missions that came out with the criminal enterprise dlc does not make you a ton of money so far the only new way to make money in gta online from this dlc is operation paper trail the other updates in this heist were all we're only updating old stuff in the game but operation paper trail is the only new thing that came out with this dlc so far and by god it does not make you a ton of money make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see exactly how much money you will be making if you do the entirety of operation paper trail in the criminal enterprise dlc and gta online